right, this is lesson 8.8, .8, variables and expressions. Our learning goal is to translate words into algebraic expressions. Write this down. Some mathematical phrases can be represented using a variable in an algebraic expression. Here's some vocabulary. Write these down too. Pause this video and then restart it when you're done writing this down. Algebraic expression, a math expression using a variable. Now remember the variable is like the letter of the alphabet that's used in the place of a number. And here we have variable, a letter of the alphabet that is being used to represent a number. So here's an example. How can you translate words into expressions? What expression shows the weight of mixed nuts after the weight of the jar is subtracted if the jar weighs four ounces? So we have these key words in here. First of all, expression, which means, oops, Darn it, let's go back. I need to put this pen on. Okay, first expression, uh, which means that we need to write a number sentence, but we don't have to find the answer, so, and we don't have to show an equal sign. So we have the weight, so we're gonna call that W, of mixed nuts after the weight of the jar is subtracted, if the jar weighs four ounces. So because we have the word subtracted, we know that we need to minus, so we have the subtraction symbol here, and then we have our one value, which is four ounces. So we'll go W minus four. That's our expression. So that's how you take a word sentence, like this one up here, and you translate it into an expression using a variable. Let's try practice problem number one. Write the expression for twice the number of people. Pause this and see if you can come up with the answer. All right, so we have twice the number of people. When I see twice, I know that that means two. So my value for this expression is two, the number of people. So I'm gonna say that that is two times P, or the number of people. I can also express that two times P, or I could also express it as two P. And the parentheses, all of this means two times the number of people. I could use X, Y, Z in the place of this P. I just picked P as a variable to stand for people. Problem number two. Write the expression for $7 less than the current price. Pause this and see if you can come up with the expression, and when you think you have a good expression, turn this back on. So seven less than the current price. So we're gonna say the price and it matters which comes first. You know the price is going to be greater than $7 if it's just saying 7 less. Because we can't do, it's because subtraction isn't commutative like addition and multiplication. It matters that you put the P first in this case and that you know that you are subtracting. That less shows me that I need to subtract $7. So P minus $7 is our expression. Or X minus $7, whatever variable you choose to use. Practice problem number three, write the expression for eight more gumballs than Javier has. So pause this and see if you can come up with it, with the expression, and then turn this on when you're ready. So our expression is eight plus G, eight plus gumballs. Or you can put X or you can put Y, it doesn't matter. Eight plus G is our expression. All right, practice word problem. What would the expression for the weight of mixed nuts B if the weight of the jar was eight ounces. So if you look back to our example, that may help you. Did you get W minus eight? If so, that is the correct answer. Here's our challenge problem. Griffin is planning to buy a new computer monitor. He has already saved $250. Let N equal the amount Juan, Juan, I think we meant, we're changing names here, I think we meant Griffin, still needs to save. Write an algebraic expression that represents the cost of the monitor. So we know 250, and we know that our variable has to be in because the directions told us in. So go ahead and write that expression and come back tomorrow ready to check it with your class. 
We are finishing up. Bring your completed challenge problem back to school tomorrow. You have finished lesson 8.8, .8, variable and expressions. Thank you for working so hard.